Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophynet, the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Thronebreaker, The Witcher Tales. We're back uh, a bit before we actually met Egg of the Nell, which means I, well, I didn't actually manage to fix my mistake. I tried to, then I fucked things up and accidentally deleted my entire save file, which meant I had to play the entire game again, up to the point that we... Uh, were at which is what I did exactly so I did do the same decisions I did make all the same decisions as I did before uh, the only thing you'll notice is that there's a bit of a discrepancy with my numbers in the top right uh, it's just because I did a few things more efficiently than I did before and I changed the speech I did in the previous episode to actually just paying the soldiers. The only other difference is also that if you open up chests that you did before in a previous playthrough, it did somehow remember that, and it gave me gold instead of the borders and cards I would have gotten otherwise. But everything else should be as it was. So we made the exact same decisions and beat the same battles. Which means we can now cross this bridge and have a talk with Egg normally this time and will not be friendly and tell him to god speed or something like that so i skipped through the dialogue and now we won't choose god speed but we'll ask him how the hunt goes how goes your hunt caught the trail of any monster monster too fair a term by far an exceptionally vile worm has made its lair in nearby caverns it is said to be the very distillation of filth a slither in horror a melange of the macabre its head, that of a wild cat of Ophir. It's more full of spiked teeth. The wings of a bat it is said to have. The tail of a scorpion, and from it, a thick venom drips. Learned men call this variety a manticore, or mardiacore. A manticore? Perhaps it will be most prudent, then, to send for a witcher. Interesting. A witcher? <laughs> Soulless automatons they are, all. Feeding on common folk's fears. What they demand gold to do, I perform without demand of any coin. And this is why this character is so interesting. So Egg does is a knight errant that does pretty much the same thing a witcher does, so he defeats monsters, but he does it free of charge, which is why Geralt doesn't really like him, because Geralt actually meets Egg in the books. Uh, and I'm not going to spoil anything else, just in case we might cross paths with that particular story. I don't know what the game has in store for us. Sir Egg, far be it from me to discourage you. Your endeavor is noble, no doubt. But from what I have heard, manticores are exceedingly dangerous beasts. To defeat this filth alone could be a difficult task, I'll not deny. Yet try it I must, for it is what I have sworn before the gods. So we can say Godspeed again, or we shall help him if you then join us. So that means I think we're gonna get our first proper companion then, if I just tell him we will help him. Hmm. We shall help you find and fight the Manticore, provided you then pledge to help us fight an even fiercer and filthier beast. The Nilfgaardians. Of course, my lady. Yet what manner of horror is it? A vipper? A griffin? A drake of some rare form? Were it only. Tis a beast. Of a thousand heads, covered in black armor, its fire consuming whole villages. That's a ni nice way of putting it. Noble lady, I know bestia is only in parts, yet I've seen some of the world, and never have I heard of such a terror. <laughs> you need but look about you, and spot Nilfgaard's legions. Okay, he doesn't understand that. <laughs> Devastating. But you must forgive me, Your Grace. This struggle between realms is not one to which I can lay a hand. Okay. Hmm. Fair enough. I cannot force you or I insist, Sir Ake. But, I mean, we can still help him, right? A manticore. How great is its appetite? How many men does it fell in a moon, let us say? It changes. At a time when the horror broods, it may be as many as twenty. I see. As now you must. Nilfgaard in my capital could mean as many as 20,000 felled. You live to fight evil, injustice, do you not? You can fight none greater than by doing so at my side. The Manticore, your grace, must fall first. As to what happens later, 
I shall need to consult the good book and petition the gods. So he's a very religious knight as well, which is why he's doing this. He feels like it's his uh, personal holy duty to protect the lands from all the all sorts of monsters, but without, of course, getting paid. And there we go. We've uh, received the Ache of the Nell card. That is awesome. That is awesome. Agreed. So be it. This monster. Where lies its lair? Where does it prowl? To the north, my queen. A few leagues on. Okay, let's be on our way towards the man. Oh, so that's why that uh, that gorge was empty. Nothing to bury. Blood's all that's left behind. So that's probably what attacked this village, the Manticore. But because we didn't get egg the last time, we missed this completely. I'm just gonna quickly check uh, what egg actually can do in our deck because we lost Lord Caldwell previously. Which means we might be able to fill our ranks with a lovely knight on horseback. So, Ache of the Nell. Whenever an ally takes damage, strength himself by one. And he actually has nine power instead of the seven that was shown before. Uh, so, let's add that to our decks. And then I'm going to finally get rid of the... Um, if I'm able to... Of the Wagenberg. Because I'm not actually using that all that much. Which means we have nine points available. I can't add another Lyrian Arbalest, but we can add another Forager, which is what I'm gonna do. So Forager added, and then we should probably add another Rivian Pikeman, just... Although, maybe drummers are more handy. I'm starting to lose a bit of firing power, but... You know what? Yeah, let's, let's go to the maximum amount of drummers we can get, have. And let's build another drummer and add that to the deck. So now we use... Oh, we don't. How did that work? So the forager was four. What happened there? I totally missed something, but apparently... Yeah, never mind. 123 out of 125. Fine by me. I think we're good to go right now. Although... You know what? The war wagon is really interesting as well. So let's just remove a drummer and make another war wagon and add that. We have the materials, we have the space, so that's fine. So the rest, we still have dimeridium bombs, the dimeridium bomb, lyrium merlot and the lyrium horn. So fair enough. Uh, let's continue on. And of course, in the mess tent, we will have Ake himself as well. So let's have a little chat with him. I see you found the mess tent. How's the ale? Not too warm, I hope. Tis not for me to say, Your Majesty. My tankard holds but milk of the goat. Milk? A witless prank. Her face again. Tell the quartermaster at once what I think of such... Unnecessary, Your Grace. I called for the beverage. Is that so? Well then. The good book states clearly. The shadow of spirits obscureth light most true. And leadeth thee from the path of virtue. Right. I suppose there's something to it. My soul sings to hear your affirmation, Your Grace. If ever you wish to discuss the good book and the wisdoms contained therein, hesitate not to find me. Well, I think Certainly, it I can't remember. hurt to have a little chat with him. So, how long have you hunted monsters, dear Ike? Your crusade against monsters. Have you been at it long? Come next Bellatane, it will be 20 years, Your Grace. Though, there was one extended interruption. So, this is another indication of how formidable a knight he is. So, he has been fighting monsters for 20 years and never died. Which is, uh, obviously, because he's standing right before us. For what reason? Had you grown weary of the knight errant's life? But an extended interruption, I'm curious. Not in the least. Never shall I cease in my quest to cleanse the world of filth and abominations. But at times, at times evil puts up rather a good fight. Aha, uh -huh. so this maybe talks about what happens in the books. I ventured forth to slay a dragon once. Yep. A gold one, as it were. Indeed. Calling itself Villa Tretormeft, or the like. Its very name, as is evident, a vile toil for the tongue. And wafting wickedness. So this confirms that this is taking place after 
the short story where Egg is actually present in. So Egg was heavily wounded during a fight with the golden dragon villain Threatenmirth, which is also a card in Gwent, and which is a really, really cool short story. Uh, I'm gonna spoil it a little bit. At the end of that uh, story, Geralt refuses to fight the golden dragon, which uh, forces Egg to take on the dragon by himself, and he is subsequently uh, crushed. Uh, severely. So he survives the fight, but barely. He His spine is broken on several places uh, and uh, he breaks pretty much every bone in his body when the dragon just uh, crushes him. Uh, maybe we learn more about the dragon later on, but uh, that's for now the all that I'm gonna talk about. So uh, let's continue on. A great many mercenaries embarked on the hunt, lured by the promise of coin in heaps. The Crinford Reavers, Yap and Zigrin, and a band of dwarves, even, curse the word, a witcher. One Yennefer, the most lecherous sorceress at his side. Hmm, that name I've heard. But at the deciding moment, when the beast challenged all, I alone emerged to face it. Alas, though shame burns me to admit it, I returned from the battle upon my shield. Figuratively. Literally. I returned him. Indeed. So yeah, he says it kind of literally, when the beast challenged all, uh, that golden dragon could actually talk. For two years I lay in the temple of Melitale in Alanda. Mother Neneke, God's protector, nursing me back to full health. And only when I could once more grip my sword did I return to the path I'd chosen. So the same temple where Geralt uh, was nursed back to health more than a few times. And the dragon? What was its fate? Some claim it flew off to Zeracania, though it very well might yet lurk here, awaiting the opportune moment to terrorize the folk of the north again. That is actually true, so uh, Villain Threatmert actually survived that whole story as well, turned back into a human, because that's what dragons can actually do in uh, this universe, and uh, took his two Zeracanian, lovely Zeracanian female companions back with him, fierce warriors, and uh, just left and uh, took a baby dragon with him, which he was protecting at that point. So, uh, and that's the story apparently of Egg, uh, his backstory, which is actually cool that they took that from the book. So uh, thank you, Egg, for that story and farewell. Farewell, Egg. So with that done, we, I'm assuming we can actually go and check out that Manticore. So let's check out the notice board, which might actually... Yeah, we have two new question marks over here. Which means this might actually hurt. Let's get in. It is in these ravines. The beast is near. I sense it. Okay. Let's take a look then. Probably on the giant murky cave. Hello. At the furthest depth of the winding, gloomy canyon... Scouts found the maw of a great cavern. Among the boulders outside it, whitening bones lay strewn. Ake dismounted and drew his blade. By the God's grace, we found the beast's lair, he said, lifting his gaze to the heavens. We need them but to extend their favor as we battle the filth. Okay, so let's order our men to begin the hunt for the manticore. Meave cast a critical eye at her shield wood clad in leather and thin plate. Enough to stop a sword, certainly, but would it protect her from a beast's raging blow? Noticing her hesitation, Reynard approached the queen and said, Your grace, none will utter a disparaging word should you step back. But they will think them, replied Meave. And that's bad enough. The war has begun. I can't appear weak to my fighting men. Without awaiting an answer, Meave strode into the cave. The rest of the company followed equally full of fear and faith in their queen and commander. Moments later, a great and powerful roar filled the cavern. And the music is kicking in, so here we go. Manticore. Because a manticore is pretty much a kind of a chimera, but manticores are truly terrifying beasts or monsters. One Oxenford professor even argued that the bloodthirsty beast's very existence contradicts the widely held belief that the gods are merciful and benevolent. The publication of this thesis led to a heated theological debate, a debate which cooled, ironically enough, 
when the witch hunters had the scholar burned at the stake. Eliminate the manticore. We only have one round to do so, but we do get special rules, which is just to eliminate the manticore. So we need to, in one round, kill the manticore. There we go. We get egg anyway, so we do get egg. I'm assuming we need a bit of damage dealing, so let's remove that Lyrian Sightman. We don't, uh, Pikeman, we don't need that. Dimeridian Bomb might actually come in handy. Actually gonna keep it. I need a few drummers. Come on, give me at least one drummer. And I think that's supposed to be fine. Yeah, I don't want to risk pulling another Pikeman. So, uh, here we go. And I beheld the beast! Profane horns did adorn his wicked brow. Holy crap, look God's at that. Protectors. Look at that. That is nicely done. So the Manticore head. Immobile damage self by six whenever another glim is destroyed. That wish me wins the battle. Move a random enemy from the melee row to the range row. And from the range to the melee row. So that just happens. And that Manticore Tail, every three turns on turn start, destroy the leftmost enemy unit on the melee row. Whenever an enemy moves, damage it by one. Every four turns on turn start, damage all enemies on the ranged row by two. And then damage all enemy units on the melee row by two. So... Hmm. I'm probably... Am I able to actually attack the back head? That looks weird. It passed. So that means I should probably just go with it. Um, let's just start off by playing the drummer. The drummer has armor, so we should be fine for now. Put it on the back row. Left. They wear its claws. The hardest plate they shred like fine vellum. And now we're going to have to use Ake to... Uh, later on to have him strengthen constantly so uh, let's end the turn there we go that's moving constantly and it's the tail that's doing that so I'm assuming we should probably take out the tail first let's put the Rivian pikeman on there although you know what let's put egg down first so let's deploy egg God blast it and I can actually Breast attack Jesus. oh actually missed what he can do. Uh, let's attack the tail. So that's seven damage. Damage an enemy by this unit's power whenever an ally takes damage, strength itself by one. Okay, so that's seven, which is really nice. Then we're using Meave Warhammer to pull our next drummer out and use the drummer to actually do just that. Again. And then the turn. Again. So our drummers are really getting a beating. Oh no, it was Egg that actually got a beating. Fair enough. Then I'm going for the Rivian Pikeman on one row. Pays late. Just to get a lot of units on there. I don't know what the regiment drummer is going to pull. And I'm not going to be able to... You know what? I am. Let's go with an Arbalest. Uh, so an Arbalest Give can actually it. destroy the tail. There Keep we go. Vile poison to yourself. I'm actually wondering whether we can just attack the head. Because it's not immune. Gonna have to try that later on. So now we don't get damaged every time something moves, which is fine. Um, Dimeridian Bomb is gonna be useless, sadly. Um, I could actually just use the Lyrian Horn already. Might actually, no, I'm just gonna wait with that. So let's just put down the Lyrian Sightman. There's a time to reap, a time to sow. Then use Meave Warhammer to fire off the Arbalest and put another drummer up front and end the turn. So Egg is boosted, which is fine. That's exactly what I needed him for. Uh, I'm gonna have to be careful that I don't lose too many of my drummers, but for now it seems to be fine. So the Lyrian Arbalest actually does. Uh, 8 damage now. Can actually just do that now and then use Raynard on the next. You know, you know what? Let's use Raynard. I need those units Company. as fast as I can. So let's use a drummer. Get another drummer out. Um, and waste stop time for that me. for now. Then, Lyrian Arbalest. 
straight into the face, I think would be nice. So 8 damage, I can actually just target the head. Which is fine by me, I'm just gonna use Meave again to get another Arbalest out. Then use the Drummer to get the Arbalest over here with 9 damage. There we go. Um, and end the turn. Then use another Arbalest for another 9 points on the Manticore head. There we go. End the turn. Then use Meave to get another drummer out there. Our final one. Or at least I think so. Yeah, we still have one more Arbalest available as well. Then we get that drummer out there. And put him right left, over here. Right, left, right. And then use the Lyrian Horn to boost everything on our sides and damage everything on the other side. There we go. And the turn. Then use the drummer to get our final Arbalest. Oh, crap. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. So I restarted this. I think I have a better plan for this because I made a bit of a mistake at the end there. And the Dimeridium Bomb is useless in this fight because I don't want to reset everything, of course. So let's just start off with War Wagons. War Wagons have two light infantry units, which actually do five damage each. So the more damage you we can dig out blows. at the beginning, the, the better. Another interesting thing is that Egg actually works in the hand as well, because that's why he boosted like that. Because he, uh, he can actually uh, strengthen in your hand. So we can damage an enemy by this unit's power by the end. So that's why we need to keep Egg at the end as well. So uh, let's start off with... Um, hmm, let's start off with a drummer. No, a Lyrian Arblast. Lyrian Arblast. Let's just do a lot of damage on those front thingies. And use the Warhammer to get another Arblast up front. So there we go, we get damage from the uh, Dying Light Infantry, which is good. Now we'll start using the drummers again and, again and putting them on the field. Again. And Egg is still going strongly. So yeah, we're gonna just kill the Manticore in one go, I think, with that one. So let's just keep using drummers. Wasted time for one like get uh, a Lyrian Arbalest out with the first drummer. And just target the back hat because I'm actually gaining a lot of things from the tail, which is why I'm keeping that alive. Let's use Meave Warhammer again to get another drummer and continue on our way. Then use the drummer to get the other drummer out. Left, there we right, go. Left, uh, wait right. one more turn to do anything else, uh, and then use the Lyrian Arbalest. Give me it. Just fire off on the. Uh, you know what? Just the left leg. There we go. And that took down one of our units. Let's use the drummer to get... Ooh, that was a mistake. No biggie, no biggie. And actually use Rainer to restore those charges. Then use Meave Warhammer to get an Arbalest up top. And fire off one of the drummers to get that Arbalest on the field. And just take command. out one of the wings. And Egg just still keeps going. Uh, let's use another Arbalest. So that's eight. So let's just take out one of the wings. That does six damage to the head. Let's get a bit more There's units out here and then return. And Egg is just driving in my hand right now. So let's use the Lyrian Horn. Take out the tail. There we go. Use Meave. There we go. That's because we take out, took out the tail. Then we use Meave Warhammer to probably take ah! out one of the paws. 
Uh, I think we still have... Didn't we have another Arbalest? We do not. Maybe let's just use the drummer then. And there goes the front paw. And then use the drummer to get another drummer out. Again and again. And the turn. Again. And then we can use Ake to just finish off what we started. Just... I... Yeah, just let's just kill the Manticore. I fear not for faith. Boom! We must thank the gods for this victory, both great and just. Ake is incredibly powerful. Distillation of filth. There we go. Defeated the Manticore. With Ake at their side, the Lyrians fell the Manticore. Later, it was said, the beast's dying wail, multiplied and strengthened as it passed through the caverns, could be heard as far as Spala. Your Grace, many monarchs have I met in my time, yet none proved as virile in battle as did your Majesty. Virile? Virile? I dislike the term. Seems not to suit a woman. I prefer valiant. Yet grateful I am for the compliment. Now pray reveal, have you made your decision? Will you swear to serve me? Are you prepared to take an oath? I am not, Your Grace. I can serve only the gods. Okay. Yet, I do believe them to be on your side as one unjustly and treacherously attacked. Thus I see nothing wrong in assisting you. Okay. Then I am content and welcome you in my ranks, Sir Ake of Donnell. Hooray! The knight errant bowed low from the waist. So low, in fact, the gambeson neath his mail creaked. Meave could only hope he would battle Nilf Guardians as boldly as he faced beasts. Yeah, because he's a really nice addition to our deck, because holy crap. That's just going further and further, strengthening himself. And there we go for the good book state. So we got Egg on our team as well. That's two silver trophies in a row. And we got the Manticore trophy. I do want to check that out. What the hell is that going to be? So, Manticore Trophy Permanent Resilience. Whenever an enemy appears on the battlefield, damage it at random by one or two. We can move it to another row. It's... And it has permanent resilience, so that means that on prolonged fights, it just damages everything that appears on the battlefield. Which is, in my opinion, a lot better than the Dimeridium Bomb, which is... Well, how should I put this? Um, situational at best. So, let's put... No, my trophies aren't full. Oh, I need to swap that out with the Lydian banner. It's not, it's not um, an artifact like the other cards are. Hmm, interesting. So that means I should probably just add decoy because decoy in combination with egg can be very, very powerful. But the Manticore Trophy, so damages everything that appears by one or two. Is that better than Meave? It's not. Than the Lyrian Banner, so... So every time she uses her ability, her cooldown is reduced by one. No, I, I think the Banner is just so much more powerful. So uh, let's keep it at that. Then let's take a little look-see at Ick. Maybe he has something else to say. Now that we've defeated the Manticore, no, he doesn't, farewell, so let's Ake. just bid him farewell and continue on the road ahead. So that did reduce our morale back to neutral, as every normal battle does. But uh, let's head back to Abbott's farm. Do are these village. people... Nope, nope, they're not grateful for anything. Uh, can we actually go in between here? No, we cannot. So let's move on. Oh, I want you for the Lyrian... Army. Wait, that means I recruited a bunch of people, but I don't think... Did we just get recruits? Oh, because because Egg joined us. That's probably one recruit as well, which is interesting. Peculiar time to get that trophy. Oh, those look like bandits. Let's clear that out. Hello. Gutman's camp. Oh, no, it's the Skelligers. That's interesting. One of them golden sons belongs on the side of my own ship. Okay. Elf guardians make for good prisoners, good slaves too. They got black shells, but their meat inside's red. 
One of them golden sons. Okay, that's interesting. So they actually did kill a lot of elf guardians. So let's have a little chat with. Wait, where is Gutmund? I'm just ransacking his camp. He should be on my ass immediately. But apparently he isn't. Oh. Camp rules, number one, no pissing in the fire. Number two, no shitting next to the tents. Number three, no shouting at dawn. You break the rules, I break your legs. Lippy Gutland. I do love that character. He's a bit he's a bit cuckoo, but okay, we can't go over here. But this this is a ship that uh, a few farmers were talking about a while back. With the crimson sails, just a Scaliga Scaliga bandit ship. Yes, guardians. Nope, no, nope, nothing new to say. Okay, moving on. And then we come to another village, the Woodman Stack. Your Majesty, Lippy Gutman's warriors have started a brawl at the tavern. They've broken pitchers, drained all the barrels of ale, even eaten the innkeep's cat. Their dancing and revelry is in celebration of their recent victory over the Nilfgaardian division, and they show no signs of slowing down. What are your orders? Seems they're itching for a fight. Send a few soldiers to bring them to order. Uh, I shall pay for the damage. It's a small price to maintain allies in this war. It is, in fact. I think I agree with Meave on this one. So I shall pay for the damages. And that increases morale back to good. Oh! This card has been added to your army and can be found in the command tent. The Merge Room Vengeance. And I get Hoarder, probably for collecting a number of artifacts. Let's check it out. So it destroys the highest ally and plays two allies from your graveyard. Um, you know what? I'm going to swap it out for a decoy for now. Sounds really, really cool. I'm actually wondering what, what kind of combos you can do with that. Probably some awesome ones. So moving on. We have this old man on the log. Charming, fertile, and grand. La 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 la. Is your majesty also bound for the river? To camp there, perchance? What's a folk moving about? Okay, nothing else apparently. Just this man blabbering about, a bit like me. Just blabbering about the countryside. One evening, soldiers brought before Meave the elf she had saved from a lynching. It seemed he had been the fiend who had poisoned the water barrels from which several soldiers had drunk, then suffered and died. Yes, I did it. And I regret it not one bit. See, the elf. Nilfgaardian, Temerian, some brute from Lyria, you Dwan are all alike. I detest you. All of you, your filth for what you wrought with my brethren. I'm proud. I am that even a few of your kind perished at my hand. Hey, Len Shay. Meave pursed her lips into a thin white line. Reynard knew the expression. It did not bode well. I should drag you to the capital. Hang you high in the market square. Meave said through gritted teeth. Yet this you would want. Am I right? For your folk to speak of you? For your folk to remember? Well, you shan't have it. You'll hang here, in the middle of nowhere, with but crows to witness it and then pick at your eyes. It was a summary execution. No sentence was read, no last wish observed. The elf's corpse then hung long at the roadside, as none came forth to claim and bury it. Okay. So we lost the elf. I had my suspicions and there he's hanging. That he was the one that... Uh... Poisoned our soldiers, because after replaying it again, it, it felt like it linked pretty well together, those two events. So, uh, yeah, sadly that elf was not grateful for us saving his ass. And, uh, yeah, he just poisoned, I think it was five soldiers that died that day. So, uh, sadly, sadly. But moving on, let's talk we to this uh, soldier. Your home, your majesty. Okay, so we're close to the Lyrian capital. Prince Willem awaits your return, your grace. Good you've returned, ma'am. Lyria needs you. We welcome you. Okay, so that means we're pretty much at the gates of Ly the Lyrian capital. So Lyria city outskirts, which means I'm going to take a little break. Might seems like the best, uh, the best time to do so. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And when we get back, we'll head inside Lyria city. So thanks again enormously for watching and hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.